Many people are still making repairs after last year's devastating floods in central Texas. Soon, major improvements in San Marcos will help prevent flooding there in the future. Yesterday, a $25 million grant was finally approved by the government to make those changes. KXN's Lauren Landman has new details. Fresh paint for many living on the east side of San Marcos means the end is near when it comes to recovering from last year's flood. It's been kind of a Spartan existence at times. Like many on his street, Randy Coleman had severe damage from the last two major floods. Now, as he finishes up the final touches to his home, he hopes the $25 million in federal grant money will prevent more flood damage in the future. This neighborhood doesn't need to be abandoned and uh, if improve the infra infrastructure here with uh, money spent, I think that's very important. In an almost 300-page plan, the city of San Marcos lays out where all of the $25 million could go. Exactly half of that will go towards infrastructure. According to the city, the Blanco Gardens neighborhood needs just over $8 million to install storm sewers and improve drainage channels. Just how much the neighborhood will receive is still unknown. But neighbors say regardless of the amount, it will be good change. I think that an overall approach for the entire area will, will prevent or, or at least lessen subsequent flooding, which is bound to happen. Besides citywide drainage issues, other areas that could see improvements are low water crossings and the wastewater treatment plant. Lauren Landman, KXAN News.